Hello guys, long time no see you, how are you? So as I promised in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own DIY dancing magnet model. So here are the things you will need. First of all, you need six pieces of meatball sticks or barbecue sticks like this, or even chopsticks will be fine. You will also need a few pieces of rubber bands actually you need seven pieces to be exact and of course dancing magnets you will need some magnets this time I will use four pieces of little button magnets like this okay these are quite strong magnets so they work really well you will also need some thread just like this and optionally you can also prepare some tape scissors that's all let's start okay so let's start so first we are going to build this wooden triangular pyramid from these wooden sticks so for a start take two pieces of them hold them together like this and then fasten a rubber band around one of the ends of them like this go a few times around it with the rubber band until it becomes tight enough to hold the two sticks together like this okay so that is fine and then to the other end bring another piece and so now these two are already fastened together so leave these two open and now fasten these other two together using an other rubber band just like we did before basically it's very easy why you go around a few times and it's strong enough to hold it so it's fine and now you open these two open pieces up and, and make them meet at the other corner of the triangle so this is going to be basically the base or the first side of the triangular pyramid so these third ends tie them together as well another rubber band okay so this is the first side now we're going to build them build the rest upwards so what I would do is take the rest of the three the remaining three pieces of the meatball sticks and hold them together one of them is a little shorter but that's fine no problem and then fasten them together with a rubber band like that make sure it's tight enough so it holds well okay this is going to be like the tip of the pyramid and then for the other ends bring each one to one of the corners of this base triangle so first this one maybe Here we go, our pyramid is standing on its own, amazing, well done. So the next thing we are going to do is first of all prepare the magnet. I will put this to the side for now and then I will take one piece of magnet like this. This is a coin magnet or button magnet. So what we're gonna do, take some length of thread about this much like maybe a foot I think not too long and then what I'm going to do is about find about the middle of this length of thread 
try to show it to the camera so you see it. So put a piece of tape, I already prepared some pieces of tape here. Put the thread into the middle of this piece of tape. Well, hopefully it sticks. And then attach it to the magnet like this. And then flip it over and then fold the thread over the magnet so it goes through the middle of it again get another piece of tape okay here we go and then stick this one there too so basically the thread goes around the magnet so it holds it a little securely it won't fall out easily if you want, you can cut these parts, the corners of the tape out. Just try to make sure you don't cut the thread. So here we go. So now we are able to hang the magnet onto our pyramid. So that's the next step. So I bring the pyramid back and what you need to do is attach the other end of the thread to the top of the pyramid but in a way that the magnet should not reach the table so see now it's touching the table so pull it up a little bit maybe about one centimeter above the table or a little more okay and then what you can do is just go around these sticks a few times with the other end of the thread so no, actually you don't really need to tie it or anything maybe you can attach a little tape to it so it holds it there let's do that get another piece of tape and so on this end of the thread I just fasten it with some tape that will do it's good enough strong enough okay so basically we are done what you can do now is bring the remaining pieces of magnet now of course you could use just one piece but the more magnets you have and you put them together the stronger the magnetic fluid strength will be so it will have more effects so see now as soon as I put the magnet close to it it already attracting the other magnet that we are hanging here so basically this is it i think if i let this magnet in my hand go it will jump to the magnet that is hung okay so now i remove them again so what i could do and i'm going to do take these magnets and tape them down to the table so I don't need to hold them they will stay there on their own so put some bigger piece of tape down on the table it holds the magnet and now bring bring the magnet close to it and here we go and because they are they keep repelling each other so the magnet keeps the magnet that is hung from the top of the pyramid keeps moving like this this is why it's called a dancing magnet of course you can move it to the side the magnet will follow it you can go around in the way you want it's amazing if you go a little too far of course there'll be no more attraction but as soon as you get within the magnetic field they will have a reaction to each other either attract or repel and then the dancing motion starts right away it will keep going on for a while because there is very little friction only a resistance so it will keep dancing for quite a long time you could leave it there for a couple of hours till it stops okay so basically that is all i have to show you now if you would like to do this or make it at home you can of course i think these are very easy to find household items maybe you can have problem with the magnets but i hope you have some at home so you can 
build this for yourself at home all right have fun explore the world my little scientists have a nice day i'll see you again next time in the next video until then bye bye